Hey guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the Frame Arms Raphael Zafir made by Kotobukiya. And again, Frame Arms is one of those mole kit lines that's often overlooked at. They're pretty cool. I'm in a big fan of Frame Arms. Uh, they work really well with the uh, model support goods or MS MSG weapon sets. And I'm pretty sure, or if you haven't checked them out, they're pretty cool add on. Uh, weapon sets for pretty much a lot of other things I, I think a lot of people use them for Gundam kits as well but uh, they're made for this um, and this in particular is 1100 scale and in terms of Gundam that's kind of like master grade but in frame arms I would say building this is kind of like building a high grade uh, in terms of a uh, parts count yeah it's, it's just more like a high grade it does have an inner frame hence the name frame arms which is really cool. And just looking at the box, we have a uh, again Rapia Zafio. There's another one. I forgot her, actually not sure her name. It's basically the same thing, but uh, just molded in red. I think the only difference is you're, you're getting dual pistols here for the blue one, but you're getting a kind of like a rifle or sniper rifle on the red one. I was thinking of getting that one, but I told myself it's the same thing. Just made it red. I rather get another frame arms. So hence, I got the blue. One. Here we go, and a lot of cool poses as you can see here. And uh, this is pretty much the inner frame. All frame arms have. You start out with this. It's actually pre-built already, and uh, but you kind of change some of them. Like uh, let's see, the foot. It's all new knees you take them out and basically put on the new frame whichever uh, the mole kit uh, you're getting so it, it's kind of cool um, otherwise the other parts of the box or other sides of the box is pretty much the same if you want to see the side and there we go so that's it for the box and here we go here's the mole kit really great i really like the design and i would assume that uh, this is a a female uh, robot design <laughs> I hope it's a female and then uh, she has a ponytail a really cool armor all to get pretty much all over it's really nice even has like a this a uh, cool looking backpack like a small plane it's actually kind of like a drone on her back you get that booster you got the back skirt side skirt get the heels really cool uh, just a heads up while I'm doing the review things will fall apart uh, that's one thing that I'm not too fond of frame arms the construction requires a little bit of super glue and I haven't really done that fully because there's certain parts that I, I might have a swap with other frame arms in the future if I do decide to customize them and once you put it in place that's it but the inner frame it does require a little bit of gluing, uh, gluing to make it uh, you know, stick. But otherwise, I mean, you can build this without super glue. But I highly recommend getting one or hobby cement. So here we go. This is the frame arms, and then just in terms of articulation and the head, you can move the ponytails. And uh, this is on a plastic joint, uh, not really secure. It's not a poly cap. So yeah, it tends to fall off. And I think the neck. I'm just gonna move out the back skirt there. So you can move the neck. And actually, I don't know if you can see that, but the eyes are painted pink. I think it's pre-painted. And there's no stickers on this one, so you might have to do a lot a lot of detailing in terms of painting or just panel line. Then you have the shoulder armor here where you have individual uh, I'm not too sure what these are, they're kind of like bits and that's another thing, they kind of fall off easily because not really secure connection, they just kind of just sits there but uh, it's on an independent shoulder armor if you can move it up there we go, but it's kind of hard <laughs> Then I, uh, no, there we go. Might as well remove it. it doesn't want to stay. So you can uh, 
have a 90 degree bend there on the elbow it's actually double jointed uh, but uh, just to the armor constraint the knee of the wrist over here which you can move and you can replace it with the other hands and um, already included you have the open hand so it's kind of limited you only have one for holding the weapons and it's already considered as closed fist and you have this but some frame arms have more arms or hands just depends on well, which set you're gonna get so you have the torso which has a little bit of a limited mobility uh, just because uh, this part here kind of hits the backpack I don't know why they have the design so if you take that out you get more range of motion on the back so maybe you don't need that but it's nice to have that I guess <laughs> then you have front skirts that can be moved individually and they're just straight peg and again how much polycaps on this I actually do I don't think there's any polycaps at all so hence that connection of it's not uh, really secure and let's see on the knee yeah that much and another thing oops you got this extra peg here which is the connection for the regular frame arms knee they took it out oh you're gonna take it out but i don't know why they have to have exposed i mean it would be nice if there's something i guess when you look at it when you close it it just barely hits that part there and if she's not kneeling it looks fine if she's just standing up yeah <laughs> and you get a little bit of uh, articulation there on the ankle and I think that's about it but um, I know I, I'm just being honest here there's a little bit of flaws or actually quite a bit of a gripe on you know a lot of things on this kit right now but nonetheless again super glue will be your best friend on this one once you kind of tighten things together make sure nothing falls apart I think it's a, a very cool kit just in terms of design I'm just gonna put this back on this and this and work on the actually one of the posts I like uh, to put this on is uh, when she's kneeling on one knee and just gonna, like just sliding down Let's see if I can do that here <laughs> And I put this on. Actually, there's a sequence on putting this bit. There's five of them, but hold on one second. Got a message. Mute my computer there. And I put this on. So there's a peg right there. And hopefully I put it on without. Ah, oh, there it goes. Ah. I think this is just. Actually, no. All fame ramps are like this. Again gotta have a little bit of patience and there we go so the, this is one of the posts I really like to put her on and I think that's just amazing and there goes the back skirt <sighs> take forever to post her and there we go there we go all right And uh, what else? So actually there's an, uh, I don't know if you've seen a box, but there's different options so you can have the head on. And we get this extra parts here. So we're just gonna go take a look at the head and you can just uh, take it out like so. And let's take a closer look. All right, so you can take this out and uh, take this out. Actually, that's how it's connected. Uh, that part's still there. And you can take this whole top part here. And I'll replace it with this one. 
This one kind of gives you two options. Uh, you can put this on. And actually you can put the same uh, band on her head on this one. And uh, this in particular you can put a crest on. Like a command horn. In terms of Gundam. But uh, can give you that really nice crest. Otherwise, let's take this out for the time being and remove this. Give you this another part which connects on. And you can take one of these and put this on like so. And you can also put this back if you want. And now uh, she has like a one ponytail on the back, which is kind of cool. So uh, putting this back on. And there we go. Uh, let's put a side view. Eh, not too bad. <laughs> so there, there you go. Uh, it kind of gives you options on how you want to have the head. And I think that's a pretty cool gimmick. Alright, so to conclude this review. Again, frame arms are really great kits. They're really well detailed. As most... Kotsubukiya kits are, but they also run in with the problem of things just falls apart and it's just, I think just in terms of design and the lack of poly caps. So you might need to have some super glue on this or add, add it uh, to kind of reinforce of things keeping intact. <laughs> but nonetheless, I really like this and I do apologize if my review kind of just points out, you know, how things just falls apart, you know, just, just being honest. But nonetheless, I hopefully that you still consider getting this. These are really great kits. They're definitely unique and something different from if you just build up, been building Gundam all kits. Just really nice designs. And they're actually coming up with uh, um, more. And in particular, I'm looking forward to the one that turns into a bike. I think that's really cool. And also, again, these guys are great with MSG weapon sets. And just, just they keep making more of those, and I'm really happy to get those. <laughs> They're great from uh, your other mold kits as well. So there you go. That is the review. I hope you guys like this one. And again, if you have any questions, suggestions, or any comments, I'll try my best to answer that for you. So until then, this is Meads. Thank you for watching.